Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at C++ mobile development inside the Visual Studio 2019 and Apples. But before we get started, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. You can build a native C++ applications for iOS, Android and Windows devices by using the cross-platform tools available in, in Microsoft Visual Studio. Mobile development with C++ is a workload available in the Visual Studio installer. So to get started, we got to make sure that we have the mobile development with C++ workload installed in our Visual Studio. So to make sure we, we've got that sorted out, we have to come, you have to open a blank Visual Studio with no projects or you can open it with projects however you want it to be. And then you can either search on your, on your Windows to get a Visual Studio installer or you can get it from the tools inside the Visual Studio, get tools and features. So this will open, this will also open that as well. So once we've got the Visual Studio installer opened, then we have to look for mobile development with C++. So you, you need to make sure you have this bit checked, is download and installed. So you check this bit here. So you click on here, this bit here, it will download and install it automatically. But while it's being downloaded and installed, you got to make sure that you've got any instances of Visual Studio closed for the changes to take effect straight away. So once you've got that bit sorted out, then we can close this bit here. So now we can come inside um, the Visual Studio again. So once, I mean, the it, the SDK, it installs the SDK and tools you need for cross-platform development of shared libraries and native applications. So when, when it's installed, you can use C++ to create code that runs on iOS and Android devices and platforms, Windows, Windows tools and Xboxes. So writing a, writing a code for multiple platform is often frustrating. The primary development languages and tools for iOS, Android and Windows are different on each platform. However, all platforms support writing code in C++. So it's the common denominator that can enable reuse of core code across platforms. So native code written in C++ can be both more performance and resistant to reverse engineering. Code reuse can, can save both time and effort when creating applications for multiple platforms. So now that we've got this under our belt, <coughs> let's, get, let's get to it again. So we come inside a file, the new, for new project, of course. So here we're going to use, we're going to select C++ all platforms and mobile. So here we get multiple project templates that we can actually use like a shared items project, native activity applications for Android in C++ and basic applications. So if we scroll down here, so as you can see, we have, we've only got mostly Android applications showing, but obviously you can use the same bit here to, to develop an iOS application or Windows application. So once we've got this bit sorted out now, we're just going to start with <coughs> one application, <coughs> sorry, one, um, one template to see how they all come up. So we select a native activity application for Android. 
so we click on the next here we can configure we can do all the project configuration if you're new to visual studio by giving your project name and then the solution location so if you if you're okay with this bit then we click on the create so this will actually create a new c plus plus project that can run on android so as you can see here now we've got the project created so we have two projects that is been created we've got one for the packaging this part this part here i can save like values in xml um and like let's say it saves the resources in terms of imaging some xml and whatnot and then we've got the native activity um, project here so this part also hold the i mean the c plus plus um, code or the or the project code so we've got these external dependencies which contains all the headers of the of the application or the project and then we've got this also which is which is being which is provided which is provided by um it's, the, it's just a configuration it's provided with a template so we uh, we have we've also got um the main.cpp so this is this is for the simple templates i mean simple application templates that we we you using so here you can have a look it's just the usual stuff so this this like this goes is just the current frame in a display this to just display the current frame in a display and this just to fill the screen with with a color and then this tear down the EG account is currently associated with a display so this is just um mostly simple stuff just to get to get you started yeah so you should just take take your time and look through this this um this file that we've got a pch so it's used by the build system to generate a pre-compiled header note that no pch is needed and the pch is automatically included in all cpp files that are part of the project so there you go so now we've got this whole thing sorted out yeah so we're just going to run to see what actually well, what is actually going to come up yeah so we we can do this by actually making sure that we have a emulator started so i have got the emulator here and we got to make sure that we select the emulator the emulator processor type so in this case we've got an h6 so as you can see here now this is where i've got the emulator so we should still run into an unexpected problem with it with the android packaging you may not reload the solution you may need to reload the solution if you if if you continue so i'm just gonna leave it like this let's see if we can actually run it so i'm just gonna you're just gonna click this bit here or you can click on the f5 to run it So yeah, this is what we've got. So we've got this display flipping colors, right? So it's just like um, a color animation or something like that. So now that you've been able to, to, to get started with the C++ mobile development, you can go on and explore it further in your own time. And you could also go ahead and explore this code to strike out what is actually happening in in this application this will actually enhance your knowledge in terms of continuing with this bit here right so i hope i hope this actually helps you to 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 actually get started with the c++ mobile development right 
and i also hope that you've actually got some basic knowledge in terms of c plus plus programming because you would of course definitely need it to actually decipher what this project or template is about so once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up yeah and then have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are stay blessed stay in peace hope to catch up on the next video bye bye